Hey, this is Mr. Aiden. This is Chemistry Honors at Redeemer Christian High School, and we're going to be getting through some class introductions today. That way, day one, we can just get going on our chemistry and get right to work and enjoy it all year long. I think you're going to love chemistry. Chemistry is is one of the precursors to the greatest course at Redeemer Christian High School, which is AP Chemistry, uh, which I know the guy who teaches that. He's, like, awesome. And uh, and so the Chemistry Honors is kind of that introductory course to help you to get to that college chemistry course, which, which you may love. Um, and so uh, either way, you're going to love chemistry. What is chemistry going to be at Redeemer, at RCS? Well, it's going to be guided inquiry. It's going to be things that where you're going to be able to deduce uh, the the meaning behind what God has indwelt behind the chemistry that we will experience. Um, it's going to be student centered. It's going to be around you guys. Um, I'm not going to be lecturing, lecturing, lecturing. Uh, it's going to be even more of a discussion. It's going to be critical thinking. So those brains are going to get a little bit of work, and it's going to be hands-on. We're going to be doing labs in here as well. And remember, the number one rule from physics uh, also applies to chemistry, which is oh, it's okay to be wrong. It's okay to be wrong. It's okay to to work your way through problems. Okay. What are you going to need for my class? Obviously, you're going to need a notebook. You're going to need a calculator, just like in physics. And, of course, dry erase markers because we do a lot of whiteboarding activities. Um, how do I grade in chemistry honors? Well, my grading scale is this. 50% of tests, 50% of homework. Really easy. 50% of tests, 50% of homework. Uh, so I want to show you where you get your homework from. Obviously, you're going to go to MrAiden.com. Uh, MrAiden.com. You're going to pull out this little pull-down menu, and you can see right here in the tab, you can see we have chemistry honors. Uh, as you click on Chemistry Honors, it's going to bring you to our page for RCS Chemistry Honors. On the right-hand side, you can see there's quick links, there's periodic tables, there's uh, our, our safety contract, our safety tests. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you about that safety contract and safety test in a second. Um, there's going to be review sheets uh, for you guys on that right-hand side. Um, something that I'd love for you to do, you can even do in your off time before uh, we get going with school, is you can take a look at this safety contract here. This safety contract uh, is a contract that I'm going to give you day one, and that is going to help you out uh, to uh, f because we're going to be doing a lot of labs in class. And then there's a safety test. When you click on this safety test, you can see there's a laboratory safety test right here. Um, where can you figure out what these answers are? Well, these answers are in your safety contract. Where do you put your answers? You can see Chemistry Student Lab Safety Test Answer Sheet. Make sure you put that in here. You're going to put your last name and then your first name. Uh, what class are you at Redeemer? And we have chemistry right here. And so we click on that and you can see the mobile choice section. Flammable materials like alcohol should never be disposed or used near what? an open flame, right? And so on and so forth. And so you're going to go through the safety test. You're going to press next and you're going to finish that safety exam for me. Okay. Uh, try to do that before day one. That's going to be your first homework assignment is to do the safety contract and the safety test. Everyone in my chemistry class has to do that safety test. You can see the safety contract has everything there for you okay has all the answers are sitting right in here and so uh, if you don't know what any of the answers are or if you're stuck on something like that go to that safety contract okay uh, if you look over on the left hand side this is where we get our chemistry homework every single homework assignment for the entire year is on mrraden.com every single test is on mrraden.com as well and so just like in physics uh, what are you going to do uh, you can see week one, we have atomic structure. Our homework assignments will be weekly. It says due on 820. What is 820? 820 is a Thursday. All of your homework assignments will be due on your Thursday by midnight. Okay, so by midnight Thursday, you have to get your homework done. So at, just like in physics, we click on week one. You're going to put in the password. I'll give you the password day one of what... Uh, your uh, how to how to access these homework assignments. I'm going to give you your password day one. If you want to know your password early, I can give it to you. Just email me, 
And you can see, homework is not going to be very long, okay? We had 10 questions for week one. You have all week to do 10 questions. What is your homework for chemistry is, it's the most important questions of the entire unit, okay? So what particles are found inside the nucleus of the atom? What is the charge of the nucleus, okay? These are the most important questions. And then you're going to put in your answers right next to where it says week one atomic structure due on 820. You can see it says week one. We click on that and we have a Google Forms. OK, and so I'm going to put in my last name, my first name. I'm going to press next. I'm going to go in. Let's say I'm just going to throw in answers and who knows whether I'm right or wrong. You'll know very quickly and um, press next and I go to the next one and I'm gonna throw in all these answers and obviously guys this is not the correct answers um, but you can see we're able to put in all my answers from my homework and last to last we are almost done and when we press submit we can view our score and you can see I got 6 out of 23. <laughs> okay, so that is not a good score. 6 out of 23. It tells me which ones I got right, which ones I got wrong. Okay, so I can go back and redo that assignment. So every single thing, you're going to have two submissions for your homework. So work at your homework, work together on your homework to, to, to do well. Okay, to do well and understand these things. 50% of your grade comes from tests, 50% from homework. If you do all of your homework and you work really, really hard at your homework and you get all of your homework and you fail the lowest grade on every single test, the lowest grade you can get in the class is a 75C, which makes a logical sense, doesn't it? Okay, you do all of your homework, you fail every test, you have a C. That makes logical sense. Chances are, if you do all of your homework, you're not going to fail every test. You're going to do really, really well, okay. Well, I have Aiden's Ten Commandments of Chemistry. The Ten Commandments of Chemistry, 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 Chemistry. Uh, commandment number one: Thou shalt show your work. Okay, make sure you show your work. Uh, your all your work step by step. That is so important for chemistry. Number two, thou shalt be fearless during pogles. What is a pogle? Well, a pogle is a process-oriented guided inquiry laboratory. And what that is is I will give you something that you and a partner will work through. And if you're, fear, if you're fearful, you won't even get started. Okay? It's, it's something that I've created that helps you go from step one to step two, and it logically brings you through the learning of chemistry. Uh, number three, thou shalt bring your calculator and periodic table every day. I'll give you guys a periodic table. I'm actually going to put it in a nice kind of uh, sheet protector. Bring your calculator, bring your periodic table every day for chemistry. If you don't, we're going to have some problems breaking my commandments. Um, Thou shalt, the rule, uh, Ten Commandment, uh, Commandment number four, thou shalt explain chemistry out loud and in writing. We're going to be working on that all year, is explaining chemistry, talking chemistry, talking science, and writing science. You're going to have to explain yourself, okay? Uh, commandment number five, thou shalt work with others regardless of who it is. Sounds like another commandment I know. Um, <laughs> Work with others. It doesn't matter who it is in class. You're to learn how to love each other, work with each other, and show grace to one another. Commandment number six: Thou shalt work to understand your homework. Don't just do your homework to do your homework. Do your homework to understand. And if you have questions, don't be afraid to bring them to me. Don't be afraid to talk to a, a classmate about it. Thou shalt work to understand. Thou shalt not talk about atoms and molecules in the first person. Atoms and molecules are not he's and she's. Uh, they're, they're, they, they don't know they exist. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know that they're on a periodic table. Atoms and molecules are things that God has created. Okay, Sometimes you'll hear me break this commandment because I just get so 
so personally involved with my atoms and molecules, okay? But thou shalt not talk about them in first person. Commandment number eight, thou shalt draw your particles. Draw them out. When in doubt, draw it out, okay? Uh, number nine, thou shalt attach a number with its units and the particle that it's assigned to. If you have eight grams of carbon dioxide, don't just write eight, okay? Don't just write eight grams. Write eight grams of CO2. If you have 18 grams of water, don't just write 18 for the answer. It's 18 grams of H2O. If you have, if you have two moles of helium, don't just write two. Two moles of HE, the units and who it's assigned to. Okay, and commandment number ten, very important. Thou shalt worry more about understanding than your grade. Okay, if you start worrying more about your grade, your understanding is going to go low. If you worry more about understanding, it's, your grade will go high. Okay. And so that is Eaton's Ten Commandments of Chemistry. And ultimately, chemistry, why do we learn it? We learn it because the heavens declare the glory of God. Chemistry does as well. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Chemistry does as well. There's no way you can go through chemistry. This is why no Darwinian evolutionist brings up chemistry when they want to try to prove that we came from nothing. <laughs> okay, Because chemistry proves against it. It screams God. It screams a creator. It screams the work of his hands. Day to day, chemistry pours forth speech. Night after night, chemistry reveals knowledge. Chemistry has no speech. It has no words. No sound is heard from chemistry. Yet, chemistry's voices goes out into all the earth and their words to the ends of the world. And that's our goal here in Chemistry Honors, to glorify God. I'll see you guys day one. I can't wait for this year. I can't wait to teach you. Talk to you guys soon.